Well, one thing you don't need right now is a snow shovel, but 40 years ago tonight, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> News 8 Now's Dave McKinley takes us back to what many still consider the biggest and baddest winter storm of all time in these parts. In this News 8 Then Extra, the blizzard of 66. It began on January 30th, 1966, but by the time its fury peaked just one day later, it had already claimed the dubious title of the worst of all time. Those who remember it will never forget. The storm uh, was probably the scariest thing I had gone through in my lifetime. Uh, uh, it's more snow than I've ever seen. We had snow up to our living room windows, and our cars were buried underneath the snow. Thousands of travelers were stranded, and many forced to abandon their cars wherever they could. The city was shut down, as you couldn't go anywhere except by foot. Walking down a middle of the street because there was no cars moving anywhere. The storm gave school kids an unexpected week's vacation, and for some, an opportunity. I made more money in that week shoveling driveways than I'd seen in my life. Of course, his life had only spent 11 years at this time. The rest assured my mother took 90% of it and put it in the bank. <laughs> it took five days to get most streets even passable, and to get the cars that were abandoned on the expressways removed once they found them. By that time, problems began cropping up at downtown hotels, which had run out of booze, making their guests that much more eager to get out of town. Still, because kids couldn't go to school and their parents couldn't go to work, like many a youngster at the time, Mayor Duffy now looks back on the blizzard with a sense of fondness. Great family time, locked ourselves uh, pretty much in during uh, the bad weather. And oddly, someone who spent most of the last year strongly disagreeing with Duffy on most everything agrees with him on that note. Spent more time at home with my family and... Uh... It was an enjoyable period of time. Still, it was the type of storm most of us would never care to see again. Uh, most of us. I wish I were there. There's one in every crowd. I am continually amazed by storms of this power. And it was the perfect track to bury Rochester. And though it's true there have been storms since with greater snowfall or more powerful winds, there are many who've seen them all who insist the Monster 66 was the worst ever. Oh, yes. Yeah, by far. And Hetzko won't argue. True blizzard by definition. I would put 66 top three. Easy in Western Europe, top three. For a couple reasons. Hetzko notes correctly, conditions leading up to the storm helped propel it to its place in history. You got to remember six days before that, we had about 18 inches of snow. It was also brutally cold, meaning what was there stayed there to be exacerbated further by what was to come with little warning. The difference now is I could probably tell you that storm's coming three or four days out. Back then, it was probably a day max. Forecasters had not the computer models of today at their disposal. Satellite imagery was in its infancy, a radar somewhat crude by today's standards. So all we relied on back then were people reporting about the storm. Still, despite what's currently at his disposal, even today. A storm this big, you can't predict. These storms are so exceptional and so rare that they're very hard to predict. To that scope, it's a once every 30 year storm, perhaps 50 years. The tab for just the city of Rochester for storm cleanup came to almost $900,000. Wow. Uh, today's money, that would be about $5.4 million. Not enough to clear up the debt from the fast ferry by any means, but still a sizable amount for our cash strap city of today. If you can imagine, <laughs> a $5.4 million. Expense. Incredible yeah. pictures. And uh, people never forgot. Yeah. A lot of romance to storms like that, don't you think? That's... Uh, maybe there was, and we'll do the baby story from nine months later. <laughs> <laughs> David Could be a little baby boom, yeah. 66. Thanks,